Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for your commitment to being a host. We hope to see even more people come together this year for On the Table, but that requires people like you stepping out and taking initiative. So we thank you. Here's a quick rundown of the topics we're going to cover today for your host orientation. When you leave, you will have all of the necessary tools and resources for hosting an On the Table discussion. Don't forget to grab a toolkit before you leave. Let's get started. Pioneered by the Chicago Community Trust in 2017, the Community Foundation of the Chattahoochee Valley was chosen to be part of a 10-city pilot initiative by the Knight Foundation. Because of our success in the first year, Knight Foundation invested in two more years of On the Table for our community. We agreed to continue the efforts and received discretionary dollars to do so. The Community Foundation of the Chattahoochee Valley coordinates On the Table in order to unite people from diverse backgrounds to explore how we can strengthen our communities and make people's lives better. When we come together, face to face, to find common ground and common cause on issues and challenges that matter to our neighbors, powerful things can happen. Last year, 7,000 residents of the Chattahoochee Valley came together for mealtime conversations. As a foundation, our goal was less about a number and more about an experience. Our hope was for meaningful conversations, new relationships, better understanding of community, and ways to make an impact. Of the 2018 participants, 78% reported that they spoke with at least one person they did not already know. 65% reported that the conversations they had help them better understand how they can take action to help address issues and challenges in our community. This year, we want to take it a step further because of so many participants who ask the question, what's next? Those who are ready to take action will be equipped with the materials they need to take those next steps. Here are the steps you should take when planning your on-the-table conversation. If you've opted to host a public table that you would like to be promoted on our website, Please send me an email at gabby at yalapr.com. I will set up an Eventbrite page for your event, which will allow others to view and register for your on-the-table discussion. Don't forget to use our designated hashtag when posting about your conversation on social media. Here are the materials included in your host toolkit. The key items in this toolkit include the conversation guide, sign-in sheet and take action worksheet, and the conversation prompt cards. I will discuss these items in further detail shortly. Also included is a social media prop, buttons, notebooks, and a table topper. If you think you'll need extra copies of these materials, you will find online versions that can be printed on our website at On the Table Chat under Host Resources. There you will also find additional tools like family and youth discussion guides, materials for Spanish speaking participants, logos, templates, and important links to other resources. If your table is ready to move ideas into action, spend a few minutes with your guests brainstorming what happens after your conversation. What actions can you take as a group or as individuals to move your table from ideas to impact? Actions can include convening a follow-up conversation, collaborating with an organization tackling the issue you discussed, or raising funds for an organization that is addressing a gap important to you. Here is a list of our conversation ground rules. We ask that you implement these rules throughout your conversations, both ones that you host and ones that you attend. This will ensure that every participant feels heard, respected, and valued. Here are a few of the questions you will find on your conversation prompt guides. You can use one or all of these questions in any order you wish, or you can choose a particular topic for your conversation. Here are the last few questions included in your conversation prompts. In addition to the ground rules we previously discussed, we also wanted to provide some on the table do's and don'ts. Here are the do's. After your guests fill out the sign in sheet, we encourage you to use this list to guide you through the beginning of your on-the-table gathering. The purpose of these action items is to instantly make your guests feel comfortable and make conversations begin smoothly. Here are the don'ts. It is very important that you keep these don'ts in mind while moderating your conversations. 
Avoiding the items on this list will ensure that your guests are certain that their voices matter and are being heard by the others around the table. For those of you planning to include youth in your discussions, we have created a special conversation guide for you. This guide can be found with the host resources on our website. These action items should be completed after your conversations are over. Please don't forget to take a photo of your sign-in sheet and email it to us at onthetablechat at cfcv.com. It is important that we have as many participants as possible to fill out the survey. We will be able to measure the impact of our efforts by the data and feedback we receive through the survey results. Having conclusive results is the only way we can be a catalyst for positive change for our community. Because the feedback we receive from the completed surveys is so important, we are providing multiple ways for your guests to complete the survey, so please be sure to relay this information to them. Once we receive the survey results, we will release the data to the public. Thank you so much for joining us today for host orientation. We look forward to the meaningful conversations and powerful ideas that will come from On the Table this year. See you on October 22nd, and thank you again for committing to host your own tables.